Welcome back. Well, hurricane season has arrived, so now is the time to prepare and make sure your foundation is solid. In today's Safe from the Storm segment, we called upon the experts from structural systems to provide expert knowledge about soil problems which can affect your home. President Damien Enright joins us now with some important tips. Welcome back, Damien. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, excited to be here. Thanks for having me again. Yes, because right now, actually, technically, we are in hurricane season. Yes, we are. The last time you were here, we're talking about the house and kind of protecting your property and how it can shift. Now let's talk about what's underneath and around the soil and the kind of problems you can have with your soil. Yes, good point. So we say that 95% of all movement in homes is because of water and not properly diverting it and getting it away from our foundations, right? Mm -hmm. And that is even more crucial with expansive adobe clays. When we have adobe clays underneath our, our homes, we see some of the most severe damage shifting settlement out of most foundation repair projects that we've, we've been on. And why do they do so much damage to home? Well, if you can imagine when clay gets wet and it gets saturated in our rainy season, it'll swell up about 15 to 20 percent. And that puts a lot of pressure up on our walls, on our doors, on our windows, our slabs. And, and I'm sure we've all been in a home where after heavy rain, we go to try to use the door and mm -hmm. it's, a stu it's stuck or the windows aren't working. Right. And then during the dry months, uh, the, win the, the soils will start to dry out, settle back down, and the door will start to work again. Well, that, the same thing happens over and over again. Uh, each time we see that cycle of heaving and contraction, those clays will settle a fraction of an inch. And after years and years of fractions of an inch of shifting and movement, that's when we start to see a home that has heavy cracks, severe cracking in the foundation. And which parts of the island of Oahu have these adobe clays? Unfortunately, it's all around. Uh, in Hawaii Kai and the Kalama Valley, it's pretty bad. Uh, Aina Haina, we see Kalaheo Hillside over in Kailua has some really bad adobe clays. Kaneohe, various parts of Kaneohe is bad. Even Eva and Waianae have some really bad clays. And unfortunately, the, our builders, our contractors, they're not doing their due diligence up front mm -hmm. to find that out with the soil investigation or sampling. And they go ahead and they just build right on these clays. And that's when problems can happen. So what can you do if you find that you have these kinds of clays on your property? Uh, ideally, you want to keep them dry 24-7. So those tips we've been talking about, right, the, the sub drains, the slabbing around and sidewalking around of your house, mm -hmm. uh, gutters and downspouts. But if that doesn't work, we do have an injection process where we come around and on the inside of the house and we inject an environmentally safe chemical and solution that will permanently alter the clay. So right now, when the clay molecule touches a water molecule, it swells up, right? Right. After we're done, we change that clay soil to a gravel where the water is actually repelled, and it drains right on through. The only other option, and it's, 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 most people don't go with it because of obvious reasons, is mm -hmm. you take out your foundation, you take out your slab, you take out your kitchen and your living room floors, and you dig down two to three feet and bring in gravel, and then you put your slab back. But Obviously, that would be intrusive, and most people wouldn't want that inconvenience of having to move out. So a treatment system and drainage help is probably the way to go. So if you permanently change it like you were describing, does that mean you always have to still check up and make sure everything's okay? You always want to monitor the drainage and the flow mm -hmm. on your property. Um, it's always a good thing to do, not only for clay, uh, clay foundations, clay homes. Um, wherever you are on the island, you want to make sure that water is looked at and flowing away from your foundation to prevent erosion, shifting, and washing away that soil from underneath your house. And like you said, wherever you are, because it sounds like it's not just the windward side, the areas that are more prone to wetness and the rainy season, even why not you mentioned they have these kinds of clays there. Definitely, yes. All right. And if we would like more information or if someone's wondering how they can get your expertise and help? You check us out on our website, mm -hmm. www.ssihawaii.com. Okay, and we'll have that on our website as well. Thanks, Damien, for stepping by again. Thank you again. All right.